Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of Channel X. Apparently this was supposed to be on Thursday, but we ran into some technical issues, so happy Saturday. I am your host, TomDog247. As always, I'm TomDog all day and TomDog all night. Woo, baby, alright. So, yes, you're reading the description. You're reading the description um correctly um i missed i messed up on on the episode this week <clears throat> on thursday it was supposed to be a really it was actually a really good episode however there was one small problem stupid me once again forgot to check the microphone so because of that, I was so upset. <laughs> I was so upset with that. And, um... And... So, we're redoing the episode, so... My birthday already passed. It was yesterday, which was a Friday... And we're gonna continue. We're gonna continue this and add in some some new birthday shoutouts for today. Um. But yeah, that's what that's what happened. And so this is gonna be our our laid back episode. It's one of our one of our favorite ones because of course again it's my birthday and I can do whatever the hell I want. So. With that being said, let's get get through the uh, shout outs and everything like that, and let's get the party started. Uh, of course, big shout outs over to um to everybody over at Gaming Pros and Otherwise and Gamer Geeks over on Facebook. Big shout out to them and. A very special happy birthday shout outs to Mel from Mel the Apollo Mel in the Apollo show. Um Awesome channel, you need to check them out on YouTube. Check them out. They're a lot of fun. Big birthday shout out to you, Mel. How you doing? Hope you're watching here tonight. Um Another birthday shout out to my to my good friend Karen, hope she's watching too. How you doing? Happy birthday! Actually, her birthday's today. So, um, and why not for good? You know, my good buddy Rich, hope he's watching too. What's up, buddy? Happy birthday! Also, the legendary Tony Bennett. His birthday was um the third, which was yesterday, and today. Also celebrating a birthday, President Barack Obama. Happy birthday, former president, but you're still a president in my heart. Um, so, with that being said, let's let's do what we always do whenever there's a birthday shout out. Let's go ahead and do it. The celebratory, the special tradition that we do here, the birthday shout out sing along. So here we go. Happy, happy birthday from all of us to you. Rather you're a Christian, a Muslim, or a Jew. We want to say this deeply, and all of it is true. We hope that on your birthday that you will party too. <laughs> all right. Keeping it classy here. Keeping it classy here. And I like that. So, party can mean so many things. Get wasted, but party. Drink responsibly if you do. And, but yeah, this is, this is great. So a, a very special happy birthday to all of you. Big shout out to my good friend, Jen. Why? Because it's just Jen. How's it going? Hope you're watching. Um, big shout out, big shout out to Dave. And of course, 
my good friend Marissa, who was nice enough, um, who gave me such an awesome gift um, last week. And <clears throat> it was actually really, really cool. And I hold this very near and dear to my heart ever since I got, I picked it up. Um, she got this for me. And I'm going to share it with all of you. Um, but first, a little hit, a little backstory on it. Um, when I was a wee little tyke in 1983, um, in the very early 80s, had a, we had a, um, I had a game system um, that everybody knows, of course, is the Atari, the Atari Entertainment System. Um, well, I can't say it like that. Um, the Atari um, video game console. Um, and this, and the video game crash of 1983 was a really tough time for a lot of young gamers. But Atari was um, was still holding on strong at that time, and you know. Atari stopped selling products and everything. They they still sold products, you know, as much as they can. Even at, even during the uh, video game crash of '83, they you know it was it was a really tough time. Um, I used to hold I used to hold the Atari video computer system. Um, when I was when I was a toddler and everything, and one of the games, of course. On my list was um, was Pac-Man. We all know how terrible that game was, and of course, um, E.T., which was considered, which was at the time considered the worst video game ever made. And uh, I live, I lived through that, <laughs> but it was still a fun game. <coughs> um, but there was one game in my category that that I hold very near and dear to my heart and I was able to pick it up um have it in my possession um as a wonderful birthday present from my good friend Marissa and that is this game that I'm about to show you called Berserk and this was by far the um the only video game that I've ever played after during the video game crash of 83 long up until we got rid of the um the Atari f and I managed to get in my possession a Nintendo Entertainment System for for Christmas and this game, this game holds very near and dear to my heart, and I absolutely love it. And I played this game, I played this game religiously during that time, and it was an awesome game. It, it, it was an awesome game, and I'll, I'll show. You, they have a little, they have a picture of what it looks like in the ba on the back, um, which is right there. And it's this right, right there. Um, on the right is uh, the invincible villain that you cannot kill, and that is Evil Otto. Uh, he's a, he has a smiley face. When I first saw that, it's like I was like, "What in the world?" <laughs> you know. And you had to shoot all these uh, robot aliens. And you couldn't touch any of the walls, or you or you would die. Um, Evil Otto, as I said, is about it was a bouncing, uh, happy face. And and basically, he you know you had to you had to avoid him at all costs, otherwise you will die. And it was by far the most fun I've ever had, and I played the. Some, there would be sometimes I would I would play it late at night, 
and it was such a great it was such a great moment and I will never forget that um, so thank you Marissa from the bottom of my heart for for keeping my childhood alive and memories like that live forever and that is a prime example of that and I forever will thank you for that and and it means so much to me so once again Marissa thank you so much for making making this uh, birthday a very memorable one and I will never forget that and uh, so let's let's get out to the um, the plugs not the hair plugs we all know I don't need them um, shout out to Luke Ray. If you have not yet subscribed to Luke Crate, you're missing out on some awesome, awesome stuff. Um, I forgot the theme for for this month of August. Um, I have yet to receive my. Um, I have yet to receive my. Um, um, my, my team up. My team up uh, crate. Which is coming on the eighth, um, which I believe is Wednesday. I believe. Um, so once that comes in, I'll of course I will be doing an unboxing. Also, um, there's also another special unboxing that I'm going to be uh, giving out to. Big shout out to Tommy on this one. Um, I won I won one of their contests, and I'm going to be doing a special unboxing once I get that in. So, um, within a couple of weeks. So, once that com once that comes in, I'm going to um, unbox it for everybody, and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with that one. So, be on the lookout for that one as well. Also, a big shout out to Funko. Um, was such an amazing pop final. This is one of my latest latest ones. I promised I would show um, show this to everybody once I um, went over there to my uh, display over there and show it off to everybody but this is um actually really cool and i i had to get it i definitely had to get it i did not care i i really did not care and i i wanted to go to great lengths just to get it and i finally got it and that is the flashing gremlin from uh from the gremlins and uh the design on that is actually really cool i don't know if you can see it that well but i refuse to take it out of the box for um for reasons and it actually is a really cool um pop vinyl I absolutely love it, and um, it, it's actually really cool. So, um, but also check out their website for um, some for some wonderful items coming uh, for some wonderful items coming out. And uh, as far as subscription boxes are concerned, they have the um, they have the Marvel Collector Core, Disney Treasures, Smuggler's Bounty. And DC Legion of Collectors. You don't want to miss out on those subscriptions. They're awesome. They are really, really awesome. And you can check them out for more information on Funko.com. And, of course, this episode is brought to you by M&J Video Games and Collectibles. That's actually where I I got the um, the Berserk um, present from my, my, my good friend Marissa. She um, we went over there, hung out with... Uh, with Wrestling Prime Hall of Famer T Black and um M and J video games and collectibles is a lot of fun. There's um some wonderful events coming up which I'll um which are coming up which is actually really cool. And also you can trade in your old video games and consoles. You can uh, trade in from retro video games, accessories and systems, as well as D V D box sets, Blu ray and Blu rays. Also, sports cards and novelty items, as well as wrestling collectibles and autographed items, spanning from wrestling, sports, and actors. There's a, um, there's a couple of locations in the Connecticut area. Be sure to check them out. And there's um, for more inf for information on where they are in Connecticut, or um, or you want to check out the list of events and um, that's happening. Um, that's being run by M and J Video Games and Collectibles. You can also ch uh, you can check them out on their website at mjvideogamesandcollectibles.com. 
Also, this episode is brought to you by the She Bean Brewing Company here in Connecticut, home of the Alpaca Blanca. And they have other other beer items and everything wonderful IPA um, support your local brewery and if you happen to um, be in the Connecticut area definitely it's definitely worth checking out you'll have a lot of fun and the tours are the tours are, are fascinating from what I've heard I have I have yet to uh, check that out for myself which I will be doing by the way I'm just working out some uh, some few kinks and everything but we're gonna make that happen and um, you can check out their website at the she Bean Brewing at SheBeanBrewing.com or you can follow them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or on the Untapped app on your mobile devices. Big shout out. I forgot one. Big shout out to my good buddy Josh, host of Absolute Talk with Josh Albert. You can check him on iTunes or the Podbean app on your uh, smartphone definitely worth checking out he has awesome podcasts and everything it's really really cool um you can also check out the website at absolute talk.podbean.com to to down to even download it from there so definitely worth checking out it's a wonderful show and that's uh my good buddy josh show social uh love and support for his uh for his podcast by subscribing to his channel which i'm a, a member of and it's a great great podcast and of course i was a guest on on one of his episodes and we had a lot of fun and i hope to uh do another with uh do another episode with him um later on so big shout out to him um so yeah let's get the party started and everything like that we got the tale of us uh, uh mixing it up on the uh dj we're light um checking them out we're going to be on the dance floor later on in this episode and um but in the meantime we're going to be, we're going to be launching a car we're going to be launching a car off of mount chiliad we don't know what car is outside waiting for us because there is a car waiting waiting for us outside so we don't we don't know Help. We have no idea. We have no idea. So that's why we're going out the back. Me me being all flashy and everything like that. Um So Actually, you know what? Let's go back. Let's go back over there and Let's watch. Let's watch them at at work there. <clears throat> Am I on? Yeah, I'm on. Okay. Just checking. Just checking to make sure and everything. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Let's go back and watch them again because we're gonna have a lot of fun. I just want to do some more talking. So it doesn't kick me out of the game, you know. I don't want to get kicked out. So, um, so yeah, we're we're having a great time here. You know, we had a great we had a great birthday and everything like that. And uh, I am now officially 40 years old. So for those who are wondering, but still look good. We still, I you know, I still, I'm. No matter how old I get, I'm still gonna look good. Oh come on! You look like shit, <laughs> Mojo. Mojo, how are ya? Oh, it's great to be back here. It's great to be back. So glad to be here. <clears throat> Don't tell me you're all choked up here. It's your birthday celebration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, of course it is. So, well, look at look at Tom Dog here. You know he he's so crazy. I mean, look, you know, I remember a back time when there was a there was a uh, 
Damn, it's been so long, huh? Yes, it has. It has been so long. You got a lot of crap on your head. What the hell's the matter with you? I was into crap. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Anyways, what I was... It was, uh... The St. Patrick's Day episode on Channel X. Before the show, he got drunk. Before the show, he was drunk. And then he went on the show. And then a caller called up and said, You like the drink a lot, do you? And I said, Tom Dog said, Yes. I like getting drunk on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Seriously, what the hell's the matter with you? <laughs> I don't know, Mojo. I really don't know. Yeah, what the hell's the matter with you now? You look like shit. Anyways. <laughs> I think I've... I think my cameo has has stayed its welcome. I just want to say happy birthday in all seriousness. Happy birthday, Tom Dog. You know, we love you all here. And uh hope to see you again soon, okay? Alrighty. Alright. I love you. Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh and one more thing, ladies. Ladies, hello. Hello, ladies. I've been a bad monkey. Susie, <laughs> Susie from YouTube, <laughs> the CEO of YouTube, <laughs> I've been a bad monkey. <laughs> so there's one thing I need you to do. Spank the monkey! I'm out! <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Mojo, the Channel X monkey. He shows up every time I have a birthday. <laughs> it was pretty harsh. Pretty harsh, Mojo. I shut up, you like it. <laughs> yeah, I did, actually. It was actually kind of funny. And yeah, what he said, what, what he said was true. Um... Yeah, that actually did happen. I, I mistook. I I said the wrong holiday. And it was a, a St. Patrick's Day episode, and it it actually fell on the seventeenth, and I was. I drank I drank some beers and everything like that. You lie. What? What? It was wine coolers. Wasn't what the hell are you talking about? I don't drink wine coolers. Uh oh, Mojo's coming back. Don't believe him. It was wine coolers. No. Oh wait a minute. It was called Smirnoff Ice. It wasn't even that. It was Bud Light. Light beer. You pussy! <laughs> what light was good? No, it was it was wine coolers. It was Patos and James. <laughs> God. <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, don't believe him. It was Bud Light. So, <laughs> so I I drink I drink a few of them and I I like down them bastards I down them so I was a little tipsy and everything I, I drank them pretty fast so plus I was depressed and everything like that and you know I wanted to get laid and I was single <laughs> but anyways they were like so a caller, caller did call up and he said why it's like you like to drink, you know. You like to drink too. You was like, yeah, I like to get drunk on Valentine's Day. So yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> and something about pimento loaf was in the conversation as well. <laughs> I don't know. It was it was a weird episode. And <laughs> got a lot of heat for that, but but it was still a fun episode. <laughs> it was still a fun episode. Um, so yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, we 
got another guest coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, NFL Hall of Famer Jerry Rice. Hello. Football season coming back. That means Tom Dog's not going to know jack shit about it. But I'm going to have to do something about that and show up every now and then. Why? Because I'm Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice kicks ass. Tom Dog don't know shit about Super Bowl or football or whatever. He doesn't even know nothing about Jerry Rice. He's just a mark. <laughs> Don't laugh, Tom Dog. You know that's <laughs> you know that's true. That's why you're laughing. Yes, I am. Yes, I am a mark when it comes to football. Don't even have a favorite team. You change teams like you change underwear. Anyways, happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, Jerry Rice out. All right. Thank you, Jerry Rice. I'm gonna go drink my mojo now. Okay. You go do that. Hey, you guys send me some banana rum, alright? I wanna try some of that. <laughs> yeah, you wish. <laughs> Whoa. Jesus, Mojo. Don't be greedy. Come on, it's my birthday. We still gotta do a shot. Yeah, if you if I if I feel like it. <laughs> okay. Alright. So So, all right. There was another thing that I had to show, but I forgot the I forgot where the web um where the website is. It's um I think it's on on the back of this. Uh, oh yeah. So yeah, if you're a bit, so if you guys out there are a fan uh fan of of Cards Against Humanity, here's a here's a a parody one, which is called The Game Against Downtime. And uh, you can check out their website at at paceler dot com, and um, I'll I'll throw on I'll throw in the link in the in the description after the, um, the video comes out. I'll I'll put that on there. And hold on a sec. second Sorry about that. I had to answer a very important message. Very important message. Very important. <laughs> Alrighty. So, um, before we go to Mount Chiliad, 
let's go ahead and let's do this. Um, do a little sample it, which is a special, um, which will be a special top five. <clears throat> and uh, that the this is going to be really really cool. And this is a um. So we're gonna we're gonna pick from we're gonna pick from from this de um from this deck here. Which is this one here? Um, that will be the thing. There, I already shuffle. I already shuffled them ahead of time. And then we're gonna pick. And then of course we're gonna pick from from. And then after we're gonna pick five of them, the top five from this pack. So this is gonna be really really cool. So again, that's Paisler.com. I will put the link in the in the description. Um, once this, once this episode goes, um, loops onto YouTube, I'll put that on there so you can check it out for yourselves. Um, so the item that I picked, um, the, the topic that I picked, coming to the next version of Windows Server, blank. So it's going to be the top five things that's coming to Windows Server. So... So here we go. Number five. Insecure ejection. Insecure ejection. <laughs> Number four. And that's no coincidence either. But it's 4chan. <laughs> Number three, the newbie cooking crystal meth in the server room. So I got some pop culture references there too. Number one, the dark web. The dark web. be pretty dark. You can only imagine what that is. And the number one thing, the number one item that's coming to the next Windows server is Darth Vader talking dirty. And that was your top five. Top five. Top five. Celebrating Tom Dog's birthday live, doing the top five. <laughs> All right. Always glad to have Paul here. So, um, before we get things started, I forgot to mention one thing. Terrificon's coming up in August 17th through the 19th, um, which that's in a couple of weeks. I'm actually going to be uh, attending that because I just got a got word that I am going to be showing up there, which means I'm going to be having some fun up there. And I'll be meeting the star meeting the stars from your favorite TV shows and movies from John Bernthal from the uh who's the Punisher who was also on The Walking Dead who played Sean. Uh Palm Clementif from the Avengers Infinity War and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. She was the one that played Mantis. Uh, Michael I. White from Black Dynamite and Spawn. He was the original Spawn. They're remaking that movie, and that's going to be pretty cool. So I'm going to ask him his his thoughts on the Spawn remake. So that's going to be really, really cool. Maybe I might do some... I might have some of these characters... Um, have some of these actors... Uh, do some uh, shout-outs here, you know, shout-outs to the show here. Why not? 
boost morale here on the on Brill Pro on the Brill Pro network. Um, and the original Hulk himself, Lou Ferrigno. Um, he's gonna be. He's also going to be attending, as well as Drew Powell from Gotham. Not sure what character he plays. I I've missed an awful lot of Gotham. Very good show, by the way. Absolutely wonderful. You guys need to check it out. It's a very good show. But I'm missing out on a lot. Uh, there's going to be voiceover actors from Teen Titans Go, Thundercats, Spider-Man, Justice League, Ben 10, Kick Buttowski, and more. As well as two additional celebrities that, um, that have been added. The original Karate Kid himself, Ralph Macchio. From the awesome, awesome YouTube series, Cobra Kai. Awesome. Awesome show. I saw I saw a couple of episodes of that, that show already. It is phenomenal. Phenomenal. It, it, it's really good. It's bringing bring it back to my nostalgic roots and everything like that. So it's a definitely, definitely a worth checking out. Very good. Um, and also the original Fonz himself, Henry Winkler from Happy Days and uh, a couple of Adam Sandler movies uh, like Waterboy and Little Nicky. So um, so that that's going to be really, really cool. So I'm actually looking forward to that. Also, September 8th through the uh, – September 8th and the 9th is going to be the, at the Connecticut – Convention Center in Hartford, Connecticut. That is the Retro World Expo, and that's uh, from Sept and that's going to be on September 8th and the 9th at the Connecticut Convention Center in Hartford, Connecticut. For tickets and info, you can check them out at World RetroWorldExpo.com. Also, for more ticket information, tickets are still available for ter for Terrificon. Um, you can check them out on their website. You can check them out on their website at terrificon.com. I'm seeing there's going to be a lot of uh, comic book artists and writers too, so definitely want to check them out. Um, so it's definitely definitely worth checking out. You'll have a you'll have a lot of fun with that. So that's terrificon and. The Retro World Expo. So. Alright. So. Yeah, I gotta promote my club. I'll probably do that after this broadcast. This uh, th So this episode is just about over. We have yet to launch the car. Off of Mount Chiliade. Chiliade. So let's see what car awaits us outside. And it looks like the Ocelot Swinger. Now you're probably noticing the thing. I'm not going to open up that text. Um, we're going to. I'm going to do that in a separate video. Um, so be on the lookout for that. We're going to have a lot of fun with that. As, um, I'm sure of it. But in the meantime... We're going to go ahead and launch this car off of Mount Chiliad. end the show off like we always do. I was going to dance in the nightclub, but I changed my mind. Sorry.
You saw that, right? So I hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend, as well as I am. Had a wonderful, wonderful time. Being around a, a lot of friends on uh, celebrating my birthday. Had a great, great time. relaxed this weekend, you know. It's been raining an awful lot, but, you know, the weather fared up nicely after. So, Mother Nature was surely on my side once again on my birthday, so that was a good, good positive feeling right there. So yeah, I'm loving I'm loving this uh this, this DLC of the uh, nightclub update. I love it. I absolutely love it. And uh, So this is this is just basically a laid back episode which I which I do do from time to time and so, hang on just a second Well, as much as I would like to launch this car off of Mount Chiliad, we'll have to do that another time. Um, I actually... I actually uh, have to leave, but um, we will be back here again next next uh, Thursday, same, same time, same channel. Um, follow me on Facebook. Um, follow me follow me on Twitter, I mean, at uh, TomArcade6, uh, TomDog247, and of course... Hit that subscribe button on on the YouTube channel that you are seeing right now. Till then, this is Tom Dog saying take care. So long. Peace.